So hello everyone, I'm Shreyana. Welcome you back in this machine learning tutorial series. So in the previous videos, we went through what are the different use cases of the uh, support vector machines, uh, and we discussed in detail like how we 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 classify like how we apply support vector uh, machines like as a classifier or as a regulation. And so in this video, I'm just going to uh, discuss about this some more details of software uh, vector machine. So the first is that software vector machine kernels. So there are many kernels uh, of software vector machine that we use, but uh, but for in this video, I will be discussing about three only. That is linear kernels, polynomial kernels, and radial basis function kernel. Uh, in which uh, like linear kernel is uh, one of the like most used kernel for the SVM. So now uh, moving forward uh, with the uh, the like the about the kernels like uh, linear kernels so linear kernels is used when data is linearly separable uh, that is uh, it can be separated uh, using a single line it is one of the most common kernels to be used it is mostly used when there are a large number of features in a particular data set one of the example where there are a lot of features is text classification as each alphabet is a new feature. So we mostly use linear kernel in text classification. So from this uh, paragraph, we, we get that whenever uh, like data is linearly separable, in that case, we can have uh, linear kernels as, as a, our option for solving it. And uh, it can be like uh, separated using single line. Now moving forward with the polynomial kernels. So in machine learning, the polynomial kernel is a kernel function commonly used with the support vector machine and other kernelized models that represents the similarity of vectors that is training samples in a feature space over polynomials of the original variables, allowing learning of non-linear models. The third kernel that we have is radial basis function kernel. So radial basis function that is uh, also called as RDF. So in, ra in radial basis kernel is a kernel function that is used in machine learning to find non-linear classifier or regression line. As we can see, it is very much different from the linear uh, kernel as uh, you, you might have like uh, went through uh, like you you may have noticed that i have discussed that linear kernel is like a linearly separable that is uh, using a single line we try to separate but for the like the uh, uh, that is radial basis function kernel uh, we have to like uh, try to have a function that is used in machine learning to find non linear classifier or regression line so and so these are the like uh, three kernels uh, for these uh, support vector machines that that we have discussed and now we will see how we can implement the svm with the help of like python or jupyter notebook so the first thing that we have to do is that we have to load the data that is loading of data the first step is that after that is it is uh, exploring the data that we have to explore the data that we have with uh, that is uh, third is splitting the data that is splitting is like trend set or test set that we are already doing from the first uh, first demo or first implementation like from the implementation of a linear regression only and the fourth one is that we have to generate the model so for that uh, like generating the model we, we will see how there are different uh, functions that we can employ for the generating the model and the last is that model evaluation that is how much model is efficient we need to, to check out okay so for that case we have the fifth statement as the model evaluation so these are the five steps that is loading the data exploring the data splitting the data generating the model and model evaluation so these are the five uh, like uh, steps for the implementation of sbm so in this video, I am assigning your work to implement uh, SVM uh, like uh, in Python. Uh, you can take a help of uh, internet like YouTube and all, and you can you can try implementing SVM as well. 
uh, at your end but in the next class i will surely uh, perform the demo of the sbn uh, using python on the jupyter notebook till then um, that's all for this uh, for this video hope you liked it and enjoyed it stay blessed and thank you